Uh, so these allegations of right prisoners who were left behind at the prison, what the idea was that this was an attempt by guards to get information about the escape? Exactly. In the, uh, in the hours and days after the escape, obviously, there was a frantic search for these uh, two inmates uh, who were extremely dangerous, uh, both uh, convicted murderers, convicted of gruesome crimes. And uh, it seems that in the, uh, in the rush to try and find information, uh, correction officers, according to these accounts, uh, used tactics that may have violated uh, departmental policy. Uh, they uh, punched inmates in the face, knocked their heads against walls, um, choked them, put bags around their heads. Do you know uh, about how many inmates this allegedly happened to? We uh, spoke to or contacted about 10 of these inmates and we, through the, uh, an organization called Prisoners Legal Service, uh, we found about, out about a total of over, over 60 inmates who were making similar complaints wow. about uh, abuse, about being uh, thrown into solitary and confinement afterwards, uh, and about moving around and losing a lot of their property. A lot of their property was thrown out, stole, uh, uh, lost, uh, or, or damaged. Uh, so that's, that's some of the complaints And, and did they, they started filing complaints, the prisoners? I mean, who did they go to to file complaints? Uh, a lot of them filed complaints to this uh, prisoners to legal ser services. Okay. Uh, this represents uh, indigent uh, inmates. Uh, we contacted several of them uh, through their wives. We had been in contact with a number of the wives of inmates okay. uh, from the very beginning and uh, began reaching them that way. You talked to a, 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 an inmate who was in the cell next to Richard Matt. Richard Matt. And Governor Cuomo had actually spoken to yes. this inmate. Uh, and I think we actually have uh, some of that exchange on camera. Let's listen. That's solid. Must have kept you awake with all that cutting, huh? So the, 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 obviously, you know, he's sort of intimating that the, the guy must have heard something. But the guy, what did he tell you? That he got in trouble? for that exchange? The, the assumption obviously was these individuals cut, these two uh, 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 Richard Matt and David Sweat cut through the back of their cells uh, using hacksaws, so it had to have created a sound, right. um, which is an obvious uh, assumption. This inmate, uh, Patrick Alexander, who was a neighbor of uh, um, Richard Matt, said he heard nothing and was sort of baffled by all of this. Uh, uh, nevertheless, he was taken and interrogated several times uh, on one of these occasions, taken to a broom closet, um, beaten up fairly badly. Uh, this was one of the individuals who had a plastic bag placed over his head, he claims, uh, and was beaten uh, in an effort to gain, get information out of him. Uh, and when he um, didn't provide that information or didn't provide the information that correction officers wanted, um, he said the beatings got more severe. And, and what's been the response from the, the facility? I mean, do they deny this? Do they... They so don't deny it. The, they, they, they said that these uh, allegations have been under uh, investigation for some time and they had, have turned uh, uh, over some of the complaints to uh, the state's inspector general, which uh, investigates uh, various state agencies. And are all of these inmates still in, in the facility? No. After the, uh, after the escape, uh, many of them were sent uh, to various uh, prisons around the state, some of them stopping first uh, for several weeks at a time in solitary confinement. Uh, and that's one of the complaints a lot of the inmates had was that these were, you know, they were some of the best behaved inmates at the prison. Many of them hadn't had many serious um, disciplinary infractions and yet they were put into uh, solitary confinement mm -hmm. as if they had done something wrong and then sent to different parts of the state, so different prisons. Where, where do things go from here? I mean, they're still being investigated? It's being investigated. We know, we know uh, no names of correction officers who might have been involved in this. Uh, the state is invest, uh, the, the correction department says it's investigating. The uh, state Inspector General is supposed to be issuing a report uh, in the next weeks and months uh, about uh, all of the security failings that went into So the inmates didn't this. want to give you names of The guards. inmates didn't know the names. In fact, a lot of them told us that uh, these beatings occurred. When these beatings were occurring, the uh, correction officers uh, doing the interrogations did not have the name tags that they typically wear right. uh, on their uniforms. And so, um, and, and, and a, a number of them uh, uh, a number of the inmates told us that they didn't, they couldn't identify the uh, the correction officers. They were either from other facilities or other parts of uh, Clinton, and uh, they didn't recognize hmm. them. Uh, well, Michael Schwartz, I appreciate the report.